Why do many Wi-Fi routers not have antennas? Actually, all Wi-Fi routers and access points have antennas. External antennas provide a farther reach for more coverage, but it depends on the antenna. Many antennas are internally mounted and not adjustable for simplicity. Internal antennas can be superior at times to ones without antennas, but it comes down to use. If you get your Wi-Fi router or access point issued to you by your service provider, you'll most likely get one without antennas. This is due to a few different reasons. Number one, there's no antenna that can break because it was damaged or knocked onto the floor, causing continual problems for ISPs who have thousands of routers issued that can and will be broken. ISPs don't want to deal with that. Number two, ISPs want to keep it simple. They don't want to deal with thousands of continuous trouble calls because of customers orienting their external antennas improperly, causing bad Wi-Fi coverage in the home. No antennas, no problem. Number three, cost of manufacturing. Making routers and access points with external adjustable antennas can be expensive. When ISPs roll out thousands of Wi-Fi routers to customers, they need to purchase them at the lowest cost possible. When a customer's router needs to be replaced because of a failure, it's not going to cost the service provider a lot of money. Number four, Wi-Fi coverage. Routers and access points without external antennas produce a slightly smaller but spherical Wi-Fi bubble, making coverage more consistent. For use in apartments and smaller homes, this is perfect, where having antennas with gain for maximum reach is pointless. Number five, the less you broadcast your home's Wi-Fi out of your home, the more security you have. Internal antennas don't blast the Wi-Fi out through your walls and into your neighbor's house like higher gain antennas do, keeping your neighbors from trying to get into your Wi-Fi network. Having a smaller Wi-Fi bubble in this case is better, especially in denser populated areas.